Hey everybody, it's Tanya with Light Code Crystals. Hello! And today I'm going to be doing some light code painting with the Syrians. And if you've not heard of them before, they are one of the many well-known, I'd say, galactic groups that are hanging out on the Earth and around the Earth at this time. If you have any questions about the work that I'm doing, the painting or the channeling, then uh, plop it in below. I'd love to answer your questions. Okay, let's get started. Let's have a bit of playtime, and they are a really interesting energy. I was doing channeling with them earlier today. A lot of what they were saying was about opalescent colors and the opalescent light that's coming through. So we're painting in pastels <laughs> to a different color palette for me. I usually do super brights, but you know, that's the energy that they are wanting to do. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to explore and see what happens, and this should be very interesting. So one of the things I really like to do before I actually get into a lot of the paintings is I just intuitively just let the paint go down. Sometimes I will get actual directions and sometimes it's very intuitive, like an emotion or a feeling. And um, it's always different. That's the wonderful thing. You never know quite what's going to come up. That was fun, wasn't it? I love a good ASMR moment. Anyhow, as this slides back into some time lapse, I'm going to uh, answer a couple questions that I've been asked before. And one of the most common, I think, is what the heck is light language? <laughs> and that, I think, is a, a wonderful term, kind of a catch-all term, though, for a variety of information that is coming from the spiritual and higher dimensional frequencies and being transmuted by different people on the earth at this time. And you can see it in some of the shapes, colors, and patterns that I'm creating here. You will see it in the glyphs. And if you look at the bottom right of, this, of the painting there, you can see some of the light language codes starting to come in. And a lot of people will, um, it's just like an intuitive thing. It just comes right through. You can see that I'm creating some right here. And so for me, this is, and I can actually feel this just watching the replay up in my crown chakra, um, this wonderful energy that kind of comes through me and is channeled as a blended energy. So energy from the Syrians in this particular situation. And you can see the energy just kind of arcs up and around and down the page there. And it's information and energy that is basically being grounded into the earth, anchored into the earth by me in my three-dimensional body. So think of it as if you've ever been swimming and you can hear uh, sort of the noises that are above and it's sort of fuzzy and kind of hollow and 
you're hearing it, but it doesn't really make sense. And then you sort of jump out of the water and then all of a sudden you can hear everybody's voice and it's clear again. So the channeling is kind of that kind of a process where the information is coming in from a different frequency and is becoming part of you and your body and then being anchored into the third dimension, either through uh, paintings, some people write, uh, some people will use their hands, which transmits the frequency, and some people will verbalize it, whether that's through words or by song. And so that's what light language is. It's bringing these different frequencies into the earth to help bring more information to people as it is needed in this time period. So here we have a nice little close up and you can see some of the glyphs up close with the metallic paint and uh, the different colors and shades. And do let me know in the comments if you feel this in your physical being or your energetic being. A lot of people uh, get a sensation in their third eye or their crown chakra, but everyone's different. And I've got to tell you, for me, this is really fascinating because every time I do a different channeled painting with a different galactic group, the colors are different, the glyphs are different, the shapes are different, and I absolutely love that. It's, it's wonderful change from what I've been doing. And in this one in particular, it's really sort of a validation because earlier in the day, I had actually been channeling with the Syrian galactic group and... They had been talking about opalescent wavelengths coming through into the earth right now for people to be grounding. And so you're seeing those colors in this particular painting, which happened later in the day. So I love the synchronicity of that. And there's me talking with my hands. <laughs> but also, I really enjoy doing the work. And so I highly encourage this to those of you that are exploring light language and you know, take some time, have some fun, pull out the paints, pull out your pens, play around, do some doodling. It is really quite amazing stream of consciousness when you get yourself out of the way and you just let the energy come in. But I do always love to remind people that you need to be very mindful of using your intention before doing this kind of work. You want to be really clear about who you're hanging out with. So invite your group in, your team, your spirit team, and be really clear about who gets to come and what your boundaries are so that you're not, you know, just channeling any old group. So I'm going to um, do another little bit of a time lapse here and let you enjoy the rest of the painting process and uh, maybe answer one more question at the end. And here comes some more of the glyphs. I've just slowed it down into real time for you so you can enjoy the energy as it flows through.
And so the last question I really wanted to answer was, can I do this if I'm a starseed but I don't know what starseed family I belong to? And the answer is an emphatic yes. Anybody can uh, channel, anybody can work with light language. It's simply a matter of um, getting attuned to it and just not judging yourself. That's the challenge for a lot of us is as soon as you get out of your own way and you stop judging, you stop expecting a particular outcome, can I do it this way or that way, it all just flows and you know just start doodling, start letting things come out, don't have any attachment to it, don't try and figure out what it means, don't try and say it's this, that or the other, just allow it to flow through and whatever comes through it's it's almost like a channel opens and then everything starts to flow. So there you go. Uh, that's this wonderful codes and colors coming through from the Syrians, these wonderful, wonderful galactic friends that are on the earth right now hanging out with a lot of us. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you do, let me know in the comments if you've got any other questions. Uh, please let me know. And hey, if you like this content, if you like some of the other videos I'm doing, consider subscribing. I think we're creating a really wonderful, supportive community on YouTube here for Starseeds to connect with each other and ask questions and, you know, find out about galactic heritage and a lot of the ascension symptoms and all the stuff that we're going through. Please uh, do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. It really makes a huge difference helping this get out and be seen by other people that identify as star seeds and spiritual seekers. And also because I'm a new channel. And hey, if you did subscribe, thank you so much. I'm so glad to have you here. Welcome to the channel. Always feel free to contact me or if you've got any requests for videos that you'd like to see. And do feel free to check out my website, lightcodecrystals.com, where you will find lots of information and resources. I've got a blog with articles written just for you as a star seed or a spiritual seeker going through your ascension and awakening process, plus things like the art that you see on the channel and uh, readings and whatnot. All right, you guys, I love you lots. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.